Hi everyone. Hi Nick. Um, well, I'm finally back. I uh, actually <laughs> managed to complete something. Um, my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my uh, craft room has been kind of all torn up with um, new floor and paint and rearranging and Fred putting in cabinets for me and so I have been not uh, really doing any work in here for a couple of weeks but um, I'm back and um, I literally just finished this journal. I haven't even washed my hands. It's a little cookie and gluey and um, but I wanted to get this um, video done. I have this one and one more to do. So I wanted to get these uh, get these done before I have to uh, go downstairs and start uh, start dinner. So this is the um, November design team project for Tsunami Rose and um, the assignment was to choose, just choose one of um, the digital kits and I chose uh, Charming Fragments. It is one of my all-time favorite, um, absolutely all-time favorite kits. And um, actually I made one of my first, one of the first junk journals that I made using um, digitals was using the charming fragments so um, and I didn't have a clue what I was doing so I uh, still don't um, but um, it was really fun going back and using this again and revisiting it and uh, I had this in I had this cut out downloaded and cut out it was in it's been in my my many bins of um, printables for a while so uh, this was a great opportunity to get a chance to use it so the um, measurements are upside down. Now it's upside down and backwards. Here we go. Nine by six, and it's got one very chunky signature. Cover is craft uh, cardstock. Um, and I just took one of the pages from the kit and um, corner rounded the edges with actually one of my straight Martha Stewart punches. This one. It's one of my favorite ones that I had lost track of, but when I was in moving things around and putting things in my new cupboards, um, I came across a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't used in a while. So. Uh, and this is different than any of the corner ones. And if you just put it in, if you turn it over and punch it from the back side, and if you just put the corner in and you just kind of line it up just under one of these scallops, you can use it like a, um, a corner punch. So that's what I did there. Um, the spine is, probably can't see it, there's a burlap. First, which is burlap ribbon, which is this, which I got at Walmart for like less than five bucks, I'm maybe like two dollars, something like that. And it's on a great big, on a great big spool, and it doesn't say how much. Uh, nine feet, two and a half, two point seven meters. So that's quite a bit. And put that on, and then I put the uh, lace on top of it. Uh, seam bind enclosure and it is fed underneath the burlap so when you open it it um, this just wraps around and when you open it and I left it really long it's the whole uh, two yards thing it's really long so when you open it it stays put so and you just kind of just gonna flip it out of the way uh, so we'll go inside. Pretty much everything is um, exclusively um, from the kit. There's a few things from my stash. Um, a few little doodads that I purchased from Etsy recently. Um, ephemera and so forth. And some things that my mother gave me. Some old school papers and things of um, mine and my brother's that I thought actually would work pretty well in the journal, so when I come across those, I will let you know. I left the front and back inside covers blank, the journal in there. 
And I made the pages all different sizes. Um, everything is either coffee dyed or inked. And doilies here. And these are pockets from the that come with the kit. Um, this is not from this is another one of Daisy's um, from another one of her ephemera packs, and I had shrunk down a bunch of them. So this actually prints out full size, it's quite big. But I shrunk down a bunch of those. This is from um, an ephemera pack that I bought sometime last winter. I think it's it's either Tim Holtz or DCWV. Don't remember which. And a alteration tag. Um, bought a whole pile of these. Um, first time I had these, I got these from Denise's shop. She sells these. Um, and then I just bought a, a whole big box of them on uh, Amazon. And I just inked it. And this is uh, one of the pieces of ephemera from the kit. And it's part of what I shrunk way down tiny. And I just punched a little hole in it and put it right through the onto the um, thread. And it has some um, flip-ups. And these are just from the uh, leftover paper from when I cut the pages down. There's just some ephemera from the kit, some old ephemera packs, some lace, and um, butterfly to cover up the staple. And it's just some bits and pieces from the kit. And I used some of the pages that I didn't use in the journal. I cut them up into tags. And just some seam binding. Um, paper bag from Denise's shop. A tattered dream, which I will link below. Um, this is some um, vintage music paper. Uh, my brother um, plays the trumpet, has played the trumpet since he was 10 years old. He's actually very, very good. Um, played with the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra many years ago. And this, I think, was some practice exercises or something. I'm not really exactly sure. It might be some Christmas stuff from something we did when we were in the band, when we were in high school, but I'm not sure. But that was in the pile of stuff that my mother gave me, and I thought, with that, I'll use it. Um, this is part of the kit that I shrunk way down, so one of those little pockets, and a tuck there, and it comes with, the kit comes with a whole bunch of these little sentiments, and I have a scalloped pocket here, and I just made a tag out of paper from one of the pages, and this is from one of her other ephemera packs. And this flips out. This is just some lace that I got on uh, Amazon. Pages are so pretty. There's so many different. There's so many different colors in this kit. You could it goes use any. You can use any color color scheme um, designer paper. It goes with practically everything. Um, I took some of the. I took a couple of the pages and I cut them down to make these pockets. That make these diagonal pockets. And in here, I got these on Etsy. These are actual vintage letters um, from a husband and wife. Um, he was at, uh, at boot camp um, during the Second World War. So this was from uh, 1944. And this is a letter from him to her. And this, the letter is here inside. This is real vintage stuff. It's a four-page letter here. And it can be journaled on, or you can use it in something else, or you know, whatever. But I just think they're really cool. I got a whole box of them. Um, this is some um, old workbook page from, I think, when I was in either kindergarten or first grade. My mother gave me a whole pile of, she brought up a pile of my old school papers. And after letting Nick look at them and kind of laugh, um, I pulled out all the workbooks. and. That I could use them in the use them in my journals. I love the bright colors. Some lined paper, and there's a top tuck here. This is just some some of the pages that I didn't use. And the tag, um, a little bit of ephemera, and 
This is a vintage um, accounts received, and this is from June 29, 1892, and this is genuine. It is not a copy. It's very, very thin paper. It was really cool. Got that on Etsy. Doily, um, I got some vintage magazines on Etsy. This is from a ouch. It's right here. Ugh. It's from here. From Good Housekeeping from 1951. So it's got tons and tons of really cool stuff in here. Advertisements and articles and just got some just really cool stuff. Um, some uh, ledger paper, kind of. Um, more page from the kit, and this one flips down. And this is part of the kit that I shrunk down. Some of this little leaf trim from Denise's shop. Um, some prima flowers and a pearl. And this is from the kit, and there's a tab on there, and some more ephemera. As a glassine bag that I got from Denise's shop, which I coffee dyed a while ago. Some ephemera from the kit. Um, just put some lace trim on here. Just a couple more bits of ephemera, and another from the kit and this is also open behind another pocket with some more goodies this is just some construction paper that's been copied dyed. it's another one of these um, diagonal pockets This is all from the kit. This kit is even large enough that you could even make two journals from one kit. This It's a huge kit. It's another corner tuck with some more ephemera and a tag that I made. Some more vintage music paper. Um, I was a Rainbow Girl when I was a teenager, and this is, um, I'm always chasing rainbows, so it must have had something, I must have had it for, for that when I was, um, probably when I was Worthy Advisor, that's why I had, to, probably why I had that, it was in the bag of stuff that my mother brought, brought up the other week, and another flip up, and just some more layering, another little, little bits of ephemera and some scraps of lace, and some more bits and pieces here. And this a white paper bag. And this is a pocket from the kit. And I haven't put anything in it. And it's open at the back as well. Just some lace here. So a bird I had in my stash. And it's open at the back so you can tuck something behind it. And that flips out. Another doily. Some more from page from that magazine. Uh, another uh, paper bag and a flash card here from Tattered Dream and some trim from a Tattered Dream as well. Uh, some more of my workbook page and some calendar page. From 1984. Tried to leave a lot of journaling space here. It flips out. Here's the center, and we have a mockingjay and um, a tree of life. And they hang down. They hang down below the book, so they're not in the way. And this is some new. Uh, cotton trim that I got from Amazon last week, or maybe the week before. Uh, 
Add another one of the pockets with some more ephemera and another alteration tag. More workbook page, some more coffee dyed paper with some um, vintage uh, crocheted lace. It's another one of the pages, um, diagonal pockets that I made. I embellished this one with some of the leaf trim from Denise's shop and some of this poofy uh, fibers from her shop as well. Magazine page. We have a top corner tuck here. Some ephemera, and this is a vintage um, druggist's receipt. Doesn't have any date on it. But I know they're pretty. It's pretty old. Very thin. It can be journaled on or used in another project. And we have another uh, flip up. And. These are um, bits that I shrunk down from the kit and just some lace. All sorts of little pieces here. This opens up. And another tag that I made. Here's another pocket from the kit, and it's just got some lace and a little flower, a little pearl thingy doodle, and uh, a couple of little my couple of my little um, confetti butterflies, and that's from the kit. And there's a little tag in there as well. Just a paper bag. This is another one of the pockets that I shrunk down with some more ephemera and a little tag. And we have another um, paper bag, and this is one of the pages that I shrunk down. Looks like I shrunk the whole thing down to like a four by six. I did the whole kit. I aged. I did this a long time I, last winter. And I don't actually even remember why I did it. Maybe I, I probably screwed up with the printing, I don't know. But found a way to use it anyway. And we're going to flip down, and there's some more of the little tiny kit. Some lace, some of that leaf trim, and another butterfly with a little bling. Some more. A little ephemera. And this is from the full size kit. I just kind of mix the journal and stick. the other half of that uh, rainbow song. More construction paper. Another one of those uh, diagonal pockets. Just ephemera and a tag. Another flip out. That doesn't want to stay flat no matter what I do. Some more right here. I hold that down and it'll still be flipped up when I open it again. More magazine. Another corner tuck. Another tag and just a a whole lot of little bits of ephemera. Some more workbook. Another flip up. Some shrunk down ephemera, some of that poofy, poofy fibers, and a flower, and a little pearl. And another journal stick. This opens. Another one of those. And 
Another scalloped pocket. This is a little pocket with a lace here. Another tag just made out of a scrap of the paper and just a cut off from the from when I cut the pages down. And a paper bag. Copy dyed paper, doily, and the back cover. And that's it. So there you have it. This will be listed in my Etsy Pumpkin Patch Journals. Um, so feel free to uh, go and check it out and see if it's something you might be interested in. Um, if you have any questions, um, as always, please ask, and I will see you next time. Bye!